features I'm going to go over today are all the features that are on the angler tool. The first feature that is on the angler tool is the 22 degree side, marked by the impression of 22 degree, 22 and a half. And then the other is the 11 and a quarter degree side. We use these two different angles to make different offsets, sharper or more aggressive offsets. And we also use them for making 90s, three piece 90s and five piece 90s. On the angler tool is also a table. You have three piece, three piece elbows with the different size throats, two through 12, and the math is already figured out for you. So for a two inch throat, the, in between the two cut lines is two and seven eighths. For a say, for example, for a six inch throat, in between the two cut lines is eight and a half. And for a five piece, for a six inch throat, in between the two cut lines is three inches. So it takes a little practice to get used to working the table, but it's uh, really convenient because all the math is figured out for you. On the offset and riser table here, the offset, if I want a two inch offset on a 22 degree side, that's a sharp incline in the duct. The measurement between the two lines is two and seven eighths. On 11 and a quarter, it's five and a quarter. It's a more gradual offset. So you have your, your choices. Um, if you want a 10 inch, you just follow over, 22 and a half, 10 inch offset in between the two lines is 14 and an eighth. For more gradual, it's 26 and an eighth. The math is figured out for you. If you need to, a more sharper or a larger offset, you can always uh, add the two offsets together to come together with a, a, uh, a larger number there. For example, five and 15, you would add 21 and an eighth and seven and an eighth, and that would be your offset. The tool also has a ruler on it, one through 24 one through 24 on both sides. So when you're making measurements and cuts, you can measure off the ruler that's actually on the tool. The tool also on the bottom here, it has for measuring and doing takeoff on blueprints. It has eighth inch, three eighths, and quarter and three sixteenths. These segments are in increments of four foot, the size of duct. So on the quarter inch scale, quarter inch scale, you'll see increments of foot, and then you'll also see increments of four foot duct. So you can lay this right down on the drawing, on the blueprint, and count how many segments of duct that you'll need to buy and purchase to, to do your job. Thanks for checking in. Remember, hit subscribe, and check out our new videos on our website, anglertool.net. Thank you.